Hi guys, Steven here uh, with another video and uh, a week ago I did a video on the uh, pin to drive where Tesla implemented a uh, pin code to start your car uh, and I wanted to do a short follow up video on that because uh, on another uh, level the reason why we have the pin to drive is that the key fob that is used for Model S's up until fabrication date June 2018. That uh, key fob is uh, yeah, not really secure and the protocol on that has been outdated for quite some time now. Um, so newer cars they have a better secured key fob and that means that the uh, method of extending the range of your key fob. Um, now I reached out to Tesla uh, at first to ask about the new key fobs that were supposed to be available uh, for upgrade and they didn't know it at the time but now they have reached out to me and uh, they mentioned that I could order the new key fobs uh, but I have to pay for it myself so one key fob is going to be 132 uh, euros which is about 155 US dollars I think um, but yeah, you have two keys, so that is uh, yeah, 264 euros uh, or close to uh, 300 US dollars. Now I do realize that Tesla is dependent on uh, external providers for this and uh, they, they don't necessarily make a mistake themselves. But yeah, it is still a fault, a security issue with the car. Um, and then it begs the question, do you guys agree that Tesla is charging us for that? Uh, or do you think that Tesla should replace the keys for free? And on another note, would you upgrade your uh, key fobs, knowing that you have to pay for them yourselves to get a better security on your car, um, just in case somebody tries to work with a range extender to uh, get into your car and try to drive off with it. Now I have been driving around with the uh, pin code enabled and I have to say I've, I've, I've disabled it again. Um, I think it's too much of a hassle to enter that each and every time you get into the car. Um, and it's yes it's more secure uh, but it's a fine line between having security on the one hand and on the other hand uh, being convenient so and I do like the convenience of getting in the car just selecting drive and take off uh, over the additional pin code that you have to enter each and every time but that's just me your mileage may vary um, so yeah there you have it you can uh, contact your service entry if you like and order the new key fobs for about 132 uh, euros or 155 US dollars each and of course you have to do both of them because if one is in the house uh, with the old system then still the range extender can be used on, on that specific key. Um, so yeah, as always if you like my videos please subscribe using that little button here and click the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching, see you guys next time. Bye bye.